stupid. I hate that. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, Dr. Wily was the bad guy. I want to stab my eardrums out. No, uh, no. You, you want to stab your eardrums? You have to hear this stupid UFO every time you go to Wily's Fortress. It doesn't change. Yep. It, it just stays the same for every single one. So, Tristan, when's Mighty Number no. 9 coming out? Uh, I don't know when Mighty Number no. 9 is coming out. I think it's 2015 or something? Yep. April 2015. Okay. Sweet. Tristan, when's the next Mega Man coming out? I don't know. Ask Capcom. Capcom, when's the next Mega Man coming out? Fuck you, we're broke. <laughs> Which means we'll never get the next Devil May Cry. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting when they're gonna do the the the, the call voting. I think they said. Oh yeah, they're not gonna do it till the nineteenth. Damn. So yeah, we're going through Dr. Wily's Fortress, and I guess we're starting off at the sewers. Why does Mega Man have to go to the sewers? Why can't he just bust the front door and start, start blowing stuff up? Yeah, that is a good question. If he wanted to he doesn't have a search Wiley, warrant, I'd go not through the front door. I know. He doesn't to... have a search warrant. He's a battle robot. Do you really think a battle robot would need a search warrant? Why wouldn't a battle robot need a search warrant? Because he's a battle robot and he just blasts everything. Yeah, I mean, he's obligated to do whatever he wants. Well, so are our local law enforcement. Yeah, that is true. But I don't know, I never really liked um, this, this Wiley Fortress thing. It's okay. okay. I would it's say the this is say two. I mean, because no, two, because well, two is the most memorable one of them all. True. And, and yes, Nick, I got the E tank. Hooray for me! Hell yeah! And what I do know is that was in my number nine. They do have they do have composers for my the, from Mega Man one and two. So and it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good. Uh, OTS. Yeah, pretty much. Yep, you get. It. Real, real composed music, and then you get the eight bit, eight bit remix version, which I'm really looking forward to, by the way. Yeah, cause y'all a bunch of hipsters. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> eight bit is better. Well, eight bit is just interesting, cause it's pretty, it's really cool what, what people can come up with. Really, the slowest weapon of them all. Yeah. Can we just use a different weapon? I ain't never use that weapon. Well, I was doing it because to, you know, spite you. Still. <laughs> it's like using some of the other weapons that are basically useless. You just would rather use the Mega Buster. Well, yeah, uh, you can't take down the Hammer Joes with the regular Mega Buster, but if you take them down with two shots of Gemini Laser, they will go down. Mm. But Gemini Laser is slow, like I've mentioned, and it's not exactly very reliable. Yeah, because it's, it's trick shots. <sighs> Look at that robot. Yep. It's all that. I'm a robot. Turtles. Robot turtles. So. Oh, where's PETA on this? It's robot turtles. Well, they're robot turtles, so I don't think that PETA would even care. Yeah, yeah it's, just like, it's just like on TV, dude. If you have robots, you can cut them in half, saw them in half, blow them in pieces, and then no one will care. Because they're robots. <laughs> how, how, do you think, how do you think Team NT got through censorship with all the cut, slicing and cutting in half and the things flying all over the place and the, the robot oil in place of blood? <laughs> If you guys want to watch a good robot TV show, watch Almost Human on Fox. Dang it, now uh, Fox is going to copyright this. Cause that show is really good. I've never heard of it, but if you say it's good, I'll check it out with caution. Okay, it's kind of like I, it's like iRobot, except better. 
it's okay. That's what the that's what the that's what the android that's tra that's on the police force. Yeah. Oh, and it's in the future. Of course. But uh, yeah, I'm just saying. It's like, um, I, I, for me, I can kind of tell that that um. But from Mega Man 2, it was like a pet project to Yay, where they, 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 want, the they wanted to make yes, it. Yes, I got more E-Tanks! And I got the other one! Hooray <sighs> for me for getting more E-Tanks! <laughs> anyway, go ahead, Tristan. No, for two, I, even though for the pet project, they wanted to make it really, 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 really good. And they made it memorable, go, memorable because they, they was a side project. They basically made the game without even getting paid and it showed because I know uh, Mega Man number two is basically one of the best Mega Man games you know, um game gameplay wise and or composed music wise mm -hmm. because like so far from like three I have uh, there's some tracks I like but most of them are just like forgettable for me yep and if you've ever played Mega Man one you might recognize this boss this oh. is the Yellow Devil. Bastard. Yeah. They brought him back in. Uh, they brought him back in the X series. Fuck, I hated that dude. But, but instead of yellow, he was black. <laughs> or green. Yeah, he's such a jerk. No, because you had to. You had to memorize the fucking power, and I hated. I hated whenever I had to face him. In either incarnations, I was just like, fuck this dude. He always had to find what he was weak against. If he wasn't weak against one weapon, he said he's a Mega Buster, and he had to freaking time it because he, he had to aim for either the I or in the X series, he had to aim for the um, the main body. If you didn't get the main body, your shot was uh, didn't, even, didn't even phase him. Yeah, and to be honest, who did not use the glitch whenever they were fighting oh, yeah. the Yellow Devil in <laughs> Mega Man 1? Yeah, he's, he's, he press start, stop, press start, stop to see where each of the body parts were coming. That's a glitch. I do that all the time. No, for but back then, it's it's the um you press start and you can see where the where the body parts coming. You keep pressing start and stop. Oh, press start, just Tristan, jump off. Tristan, are you gonna do LP into Mega Man Nine and Ten? No. Why? They're like one of the most forgettable of the series. They just basically made it because people wanted Mega Man. But everyone says it's the best out of the series. Two is the best out of the series. I don't know where your nine and ten are. Well, in my opinion, I really enjoyed nine. Ten, I like some things about it, but I found it to be very forgettable. But yeah, well, for me it's like two is like the best though. Yeah, the music of, of Mega Man Nine was e amazing. Yes, yes, more E tanks. Tristan, uh, Patricia, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be like Oprah in winter. I'm gonna be giving away free E tanks to an entire audience. You get a free E tank. You get a free E tank. Everybody gets a free E tank. That's why. That's why I like the X series because all you need to do is find one E tank and all you have to do is refill it. <laughs> Well, you, you get two. Trisha, you get, I'm going get, to find that one E tank that you will miss. You get two. Actually, you get two E tanks and a weapon tank. But for make like make a hammer Joe right up there. It's like I'm never going to get up there. Yet he's just right over there, guarding that one corner. Well, you can if you need if you need the energy. Do two. But yeah, I was like curious though why and like in some of the Mega Man games they took a, they took away some of the um, some of his abilities. Well, I think by Mega Man Four, they were starting to run out of steam because they were really trying to build up on the successes of Mega Man's one, two, and three. Yeah. I mean, as of as of now, when it comes to the classic series, Mega Man Two was the best selling. Yep. Because they make that out of love. And Mega Man 9 and 10 are the, just the best. 
It's not no. that. It's just that, you see, with Mega Man 9 and 10, there were definitely products of their time in which everybody was starting to miss, like, the old-school retro video games from the 80s, like NES and stuff. So that is why Mega Man 9, when it came out, everybody was going crazy about it. And here's another little tidbit from the classic Mega Man 1. You get to fight your own clones. Really? But instead of one, now there's three. <laughs> they really, they really grasp at that stuff. Instead of fighting old bosses again, like the boss rush that you usually get now, you get to fight yourself. Which, I would prefer the boss rush sometimes, not all the time. But in the Mega Man X series, there's always a fucking boss rush. <laughs> at the end of the, at the end of the level, before you fight the last boss, there's a boss rush. Hey, you know what's be better than Mega Man? What? Attack on Titan. It's the greatest anime of all time. I haven't watched it, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, well, if you don't watch Attack on Titan, then you suck, and you'll never yeah. get laid. Uh. Alright, so that's it. So tune in next time as we fight Dr. Wiley.